Sweet Jesus Radio. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Sweet Jesus Radio. Coming to you from El Stu Recording Studio and Music Store, located at 7702 North Loop. Today we got a special guest in the house, the owner, the proprietor of S2 Recording Studio. Also uh, MC, engineer, and all kinds of other stuff, and all, an all-around great guy. Hey, we got bro. Rafael, a.k.a. Fat Cat. Thank you. What's up, what's up, what's, what's up? What's good, man? Chilling, chilling, brother. How you doing? Pretty good, man. How's your day so far? Good, good, brother. Business, business, as usual. You yeah. already know. What have you been up to all day? Let's all see. day, just grinding it, brother. I mean, since the day, since early in the morning, I had a, a beautiful start. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful start, man. I mean, already Let's business see. coming in. All right. So you've shows been, coming in. You've you been know? in the studio pretty much Working. a big punk of a big chunk of the day. Yeah, there you go. Did you have any uh any any guests in here or any clients, as they say? Well, I mean, I had some uh some engineer slash promoter do the All right, all right. Rob Bennett. Okay, okay. Rob Bennett, uh, you know, shout out to Sick Life Studios. There you go. Uh, he came in and uh, actually he dropped out some tickets for us, you know, so we can promote his show. He has a show, I think he said uh, December, so. Sweet. All right, yeah, all right, definitely. all right. Cool, man. So, yeah, for the listeners, we're going to get into to a little bit of uh, Fat Cat's background. We're going to talk about the studio, the different services he offers here. Uh, again, a lot of the focus is going to be the studio, but... Anybody that knows Fat Cat knows he's been around forever, man. Yeah, he's repping uh, Street Associates, correct? There you go, brother. One of the, Street Associates. One of the crews that's been around for, for a long time here in El Paso. So he definitely has a lot of uh, stories and a lot of hip-hop history here. Definitely, definitely, most definitely, brother. Great, man. So we'll start with, you know what, before we really get into it, just, I don't like to wait till the end. I'm going to do it in the beginning. Just tell the listeners how and where they can find you online. Online? As far as like, you know, website, Facebook address, Instagram, uh, names and all that shit. I know, you, I know at the very least you have a Facebook, right? There you go. I have a Facebook. Um, I'm too, I'm kind of like bad with, you know, the actual addresses, but you can check us out at El Stu. If you, if you search for studio. El Stu, spell it out for him just in case for the Spanish challenged. That's uh, E-L-S-T-U, El Stu. Two different words. There you go. Uh, recording studio and music store. And yeah, definitely you can check us out on Facebook. And, and repeat uh, where the, where, what the address is, bud? It's uh, 7702 North Lou El Stu. You already know this when you get your fucking recording. So Can we cuss? I'm yeah, sorry. all day, man. No, nah, you can't fucking cuss, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, this, ain't, this ain't no. That's a, that's a beauty of podcasts, bro. There we don't go. have a boss. We don't have all FCC. Right. This ain't no. This definitely isn't Power definitely. 102 or 104.3. Not there this in the stations, but yeah, yeah, there in you general, go. they're, they're exactly. governed by... The you know, they have rules. They got the FCC on it. There you go. And yeah, podcasts, you don't have shit, man. Okay. We can make our own That's rules. That's good, man. So no slip. So, nah, no cut. slip. Or... I ask Marcus, do we, right? We curse a lot of. <laughs> 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 nah, we, we definitely curse like sailors, bro. No, yeah, definitely. But so, uh, you can definitely check me out on uh, El Stu. That's E L S T U, uh, recording studio and music store, 7702 North Loop. Uh, we're here to represent all artists. You know, from uh, no talent to more talent, it doesn't matter. We're here to help everybody out. No, I'm here right now, guys. Uh, very professional studio. So come check it out. Show some love. And uh, again, yeah. I'm going to be probably doing uh, several episodes here working with uh, Fat Cat. So there you go, expect there you go. to and you hear that name as too. It's a, it's, a, it's a blessing to have you here right here right now, bro. Thank you, brother. School, Thank brother. you, brother. Yeah, yeah. You know, we wish you the most respect and uh, yeah. the most of success with whatever you're trying to do, brother. We're here to help you, brother. Oh, yeah, bro. I appreciate it. All right, so... Let's start off with uh, your background a little bit, bro. Again, let's, you know, give us some of the highlights. What side of town you grew up? Maybe if you want to throw in what school you went to, some of the guys you grew up with, just kind of your right. history and then go into how how you got into to hip hop, man. All right. Yeah, most definitely, man. You already know the Actually, the stew is here for a reason, brother. Because, like, I, I was raised in the Lower Valley. All right, all right. So, right. more, I mean... Every time I would pass by this place, man, it's like, no, I have to have it here because it was open for a reason or available for me to actually, yeah. you know, rent it out or whatever, you know. But realistically, I'm from the Lower Valley, um, raised by, uh, I'm not sure if people know where the street casting is that kind of by Pendle, brother. That's where we grew up, the Stale. That's, okay. I know, it's on That's the name of the street? That's the name of the oh, street. Oh, I've seen it up. driving around. Yeah, brother. So uh, basically, the Stale was the, the spot that we grew up in the neighborhood and street right. associates developed. FYL, I mean, the stale developed uh, Street Associates and FYL. All right. That that consists of the stale, you know, those two uh, 
Those which two. is uh, FYI, I'm, I, I remember you know uh, Patrick. Remember Patrick? Yeah. Dubs. Dubs. What is uh, it? Fuck your what? Fuck your label. Fuck your label. Fuck, fuck your label. Yeah, Patrick. Shout out to Patrick. Yeah, shout out to Patrick. He's out there in Denver. But yeah, basically, Dubs. you know, at uh, age 13, 14, I, I decided to do music. And by that time, you already know that uh, Dubs and them were already hanging out with us. So basically, it's like it formed by itself, brother. Yeah. Like, in other words, like we didn't even try to like look for it. the artist. Not hating on people that actually do that. Yeah. But I actually, like, I, I believe it fell into place. You know, like everybody. Now who did you meet first or how did you meet all the guys? And, and also talk about all the different members, man. Okay. Yeah. Basically, uh, I met, uh, I met, uh, I guess the first person I can say that I, we did anything together as far as like music wise was uh, Dren. Okay. Dren, me and Dren, actually, we were like about 14, 15. We were like writing rhymes. Shout anyway. out to Dren. Shout out to Dren. He's also in Colorado. All right. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, he was the one that actually inspired me to do it, you know? Cool. Like, actually, we were we would say we'd be the first Mexicans in Wu-Tang, brother. <laughs> oh, shit. But, you know, I mean, we ended up doing music with Wu-Tang later yeah, on in yeah, life, but yeah, et cetera, et cetera. I guess I'm jumping too much. But, yeah, actually, uh, Adrian was good. the one. A Adrian's the one that I actually met before anybody to, on the music thing. He was actually tight with Patrick. Okay. And then Patrick, like it was like me and me and me and Dren were tight, and then Dren and and Patrick were tight, and mm. Patrick was the one that had the hookup for the studio, brother. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, he had the hookup with uh, JBL. With All right, all right. Shout JBL out to is. JBL. Shout out to JBL, brother. I mean, yeah, he's been on the show before. Oh man, that's that's dope, man. JBL was the one that actually put us on. I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna lie on some music nice. stuff. He's he's the first producer that gave us beats, studio time, and all that, brother. Nice, like, nice. Yeah, shout out to you JBL. Know, shout out to JBL. Devious Minds is what we were called back then. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's old school shit, exactly, man. Exactly, yeah. brother. I mean, so FYL, Devious Minds, Street go, Associates. Brother. That's that's basically where it branched off of is like Devious Minds, and then eventually, like I guess Patrick did his own thing. Um, by that time, I was in a halfway home, brother. All right, all right. You know, I was in a halfway home, so Street got Associates. Got into some trouble. Yeah, I got into some trouble. Eventually, I guess when uh, Devious Minds wasn't what we were trying to do at the moment, I guess it wasn't. It was two different things, I yeah. guess. You know, I mean, not 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 talking shit, just. It yeah, is. shit didn't work out. Shit didn't work out. You know, he, I respect his hustle. He respected ours. You know, we parted ways. We did our own things. And yeah. actually, when I was in the halfway home street associates, when it actually... That's when it started. When it started, bro. Happened. Who are the other members? Like the official... We, well, street associates. Yeah. Street associates, it's uh me, of course. My brother, Sal. You know, he makes beats. Yeah, yeah, Sal. Sal Bars. Sal, Sal Bars. Sounds and lyrics. Uh, Severe, of course. You severe, know, of severe. course, yeah. That's the you only know, shout out to severe. severe. Shout out to Sal. Severe had told me about you a long time ago. Yeah. So uh severe, um and um, also Sad Boy, which we met in the in the in the halfway home, brother. Oh yeah, yeah. I've met him a couple of times. I don't know he's, him that well, bad, but yeah, he's bro. cool, yeah, yeah. He's badass, brother. And um Gusto, shout out to young Gusto. Gusto, Gusto he he he's there, he's from the state. Well, actually he's the only one that actually lives in the state, brother. Okay. You know, <laughs> keeping it saying, real. Yeah, definitely, brother. But uh, yeah, actually, those that that that's who consists of my crew. That's who I met. Yeah, that's but how who, did who did um how did you meet all those guys individually though? How do you know Severe, up, for brother. example? You know what? Same, that neighborhood right there. It was just the same neighborhood. The same right. neighborhood, brother. It's six, playing football, it's six street, playing six streets, brother. That like it's not even a big neighborhood, but it's six streets that's tightly like it's that it's community. Tight knit. So, yeah, it's tight knit, brother. And I guess from that being said, like even my little brother's friends are. It's my other friends' friends. It's like it's crazy. Like it, yeah, it really is. Some, so some with that being said, shit. we all Johnny Severe was yeah. a, a friend to my little brother actually. Okay, and they're the ones that pitched me the about Severe back in the fucking day, and I was like, fuck yeah, I'm rolling with Severe. Yeah, so. a, Severe's but a we're sick all from producer, the same man. neighborhood though, brother. We're all from yeah. the same neighborhood, Kastner. You know, same uh, same, same few streets, same couple blocks there. Yeah, exactly. Lower Valley. The Lower Valley. That's where we're at. Be. Yeah, Cash and uh, Lower Valley. There you go. Shout out to the Lower Valley. Shout out to El Paso. Period. You Hell know, yeah, to all God. those people well, that are actually trying to make moves. All the different like boroughs. You. Thank Sweet you, thank Jesus you. Radio. Sweet Jesus Radio. There you go. That's what it's about. Out of Eye Productions. Out of Eye Promotions. Eye Productions. You know all what? That shit. Out of Eye Productions. My respect to them. They've been one of the one of the staples that have been putting in work. Thank for you, brother. Thank you. Like this to be able to have this stuff, right? Yeah, now. yeah. We try hard, man. But yeah, it's definitely a team effort, man. There you go. There you go, brother. Hell yeah, man. So talk about. Let's keep talking about some old school shit, man. Let me, you know, if any kind of stories pop in your head, let them out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, funny bro. stuff, interesting stuff. But uh, talk about maybe some of the first shows, bro. Just or any kind of anything that pops in your head, any memories, 
I got one good memory to, uh, you know, like, I guess back in the day when we were starting, like, Burley, you know, do the our recordings, and then we went from there to actually trying to do our show. Well, you know, God bless his soul, rest in peace, uh, Big Kerm. Yeah, hell yeah. Big Kerm. Hell Big Kerm yeah. was the one that talked to Dren and actually was trying to put us up on some shows and all that, man. So you yeah. already know where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. That's outside of I, I, I promotions, mean, that's that's me, I productions right there, yeah, man. exactly. To me, uh, he's one of the dopest hustlers and dopest <laughs> move makers that's that ever existed yeah, yeah, man. in the he city was, of El Paso, brother. He was out there always, always hustling, brother. talking to everybody, always, man. Always, brother. Trying to make something happen, man. Always, man. That, that dude was a 24-hour businessman. Like, that That dude was always on his grind. Brother. And do you remember, like, the first show you did or anything like that? You know what? Our, our first show actually was, um, <clears throat> I think it was, uh, man, you know what? I'm, too, I'm bad with names sometimes, man, but it was at Maybe uh, I'll remember. It was right there on George Dieter, brother. It was uh, Purgatory. It was with mm. uh, Nah, I forgot. I forgot the the, the promoter's name, man. But this this dude actually. He what did he look one, like? Um, this dude. I'm gonna say I'm a, my bad, bro. It's because I'm bad with names. But this dude was a black dude. All right. Um, medium husky, uh, Chris or something. Oh, Chris hate. There you go, brother. There you go, brother. That was our first show. All right, he all was right. the he was the first one that actually put us on our first shows, brother. Oh, cool, cool. But actually, Kern was the one that was trying to put us on onto the next level, brother. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Kern was bringing in some shows as much as yeah, you guys yeah. do. What you guys do, you know. Well, him and Tito were working on a lot of stuff, and exactly, brother. And Tito, yeah. Tito, of course. Yeah, shout out to shout Tito. Out to Tito, shout out to Tito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. And that's that's old school yeah, old school shit. And that's the whole point of the show, man, is to kind of talk about those old memories go, and shit. You know what you I mean? Know, I, I, and then I guess you guys have your guys' point of view, and I have mine. Yeah, that's I what mean, I'm saying. Because I don't know. I mean, you know what I mean? You, you, guys are, you guys have been putting in your guys' work, and you guys have helped develop the, the, the movement for the city, bro. And yeah, I, um, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, you we, know what I'm we, saying? We, that's, you know, that's our goal, man. You know, we just, we just trying to do about. our part. You know there what I mean? There you go. There you go. There you go. Cool, man. So how about... Talk about some of the early days of recording, bro. How did you come up with some of the first equipment you used and recording some of the first early tracks and you stuff know, like that's that? A, that's a cool ass question that you asked, bro. Because realistically, bro, like, like I guess since we got into the music business, bro, like honestly, like we're trying to since back in the day, we're trying to always come up on studio stuff. Yeah. And realistically, the first equipment that I did come up on, <clears> it <throat> didn't even make sense, bro. <laughs> Like you couldn't hook it up with one another, bro. You couldn't, you couldn't. But it I thought even, you could. It you wasn't know? the right. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't it, bro. Like I was like, what the hell? Like my brother Sal, of course, he was a little bit more experienced with the engineering part and yeah. stuff like that. So he'd be like, bro, you got two things that don't match. Like yeah. you know, it's like man, it was crazy, brother. But I was trying, bro. Yeah. You know, and, and we were trying. Eventually, eventually, you know what? Eventually, when I got out of uh, the halfway home, brother. That's when I, my brother Sal was in the halfway home with me. Uh-uh. Yeah, brother. We Damn, landed son. at the same time. What the hell are you guys doing, man? Uh, you Damn know, Lower Valley kids. Yeah, <laughs> Damn Lower Valley kids, brother. Damn. I was 19. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Crazy. You know, I'm 32 right now. Well, I grew up 19. in Southside El Paso, bro, but I did my thing, but, you know, or I got lucky. Or I did get I did get arrested once. So. Yeah. I mean, uh, but this but is what happened. It I wasn't mean, that my, bad when I was in a half. Yeah, man. I <laughs> Just mean, the probation. Yeah, brother. I mean, my, my brother Sal ended up being locked up with me and that's when we were like, when I left, I was like, you know what, brother? Like, let, let's just go, this, let's do this, let's do the music stuff. Well, eventually it was to the point that when I got out, brother, I, my brother stayed behind, bro. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make it happen, brother. I thought making it happen was buying, of course, little equipment here and there. It wasn't until he got out that he saw the equipment I was buying. And this is like way later after the fact that I was buying shit that didn't match and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm being for real. Like, this is like totally what the fuck did you buy? Time, you I know? want to see this shit. I mean, if I could explain it, I don't even know, bro. You know, you'd probably have to talk to my brother and, and you guys can laugh like, about it because realistically, it's fucking funny. An answering, you bought an answering machine? It was, it was funny. Like, it was like some shit that you would push buttons and it would like do crazy little fucking sound effects and shit. <laughs> But it was, I mean, I don't know why the fuck I needed that, but I I guess I thought it, it Where worked, did you get you know? it at? Locally at, or? I got it at Radio Shack, brother. Oh, man, that's your freshman first mistake. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I was 15 then. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, shit. Oh, that's young, man. So, shit. Like, the jump, first shit I bought, I was already like, like my early 20s, bro. So I guess when me and my brother were there, my first thing was to get out and actually buy some 
some, some cool, real shit. At least some cool equipment, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because to me, like, I just thought my mentality <clears throat> was like, let's get some equipment and whatever. But so I was the actual perfectionist, the one that would be yeah. like, nah, let's it get has this to be fucking just equipment. right. And he would get the equipment and flip it, like sell it, and then we'd mm. get better equipment and shit. So Keep upgrading little, and upgrading. Little by little. I mean, you know, I'm yeah, not no doubt, we man. got the best equipment, but we got good equipment, very good equipment, and sell. Got the job done. Sell. Exactly. Yeah, I heard he's a he's a freaking genius with all that stuff. I mean, you know what? He's your brother, brother. Brother, brother. brother. Oh, okay, I know that. I never knew that. Yeah, brother. That, that's, my, that's my brother. Who's brother. the big brother? He's the big brother. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm the middle brother, and yeah, then we bro. have a younger brother. I never knew. Yeah, I never man. knew you were your brothers though. Yeah, man. How old that's is he? Nah, brother. you don't have to give out his age if you don't want. My brother Sal. I mean, I don't mind. I don't think he minds. I Probably mean, my age. Sal's. So uh, I'm nah, thirty. We're, we're all four years apart. Me and my uh, brothers, there's three of us, so we're all four years apart. I'm 32, he's 36. All right, he's right behind me. You know what I'm saying? I'm up there. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, man, I mean, shout out to my brother Sal, you know. Oh, yeah, out. shout out to Sal, man. Yeah, he was trying to, he was hollering at me to work when we were trying to get something going, or we did get something going, or most, it was Tito, that Sector 7, that under Club 101, or the Lotus over there on downtown El Paso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, and I was trying to get him in there to maybe to be a sound guy, but... I kind of got out of it for whatever reason. That's a different story. And then, you know, I just told him, man, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not working with those guys anymore. Oh, I, see, I, see. I was, but I wasn't. It wasn't a full-time thing for me. Um, and Tito was. And I told Tito, well, it sounds, sounds down to, to do something, but, you know, it's up to you guys. But so, so yeah, yeah but that, that's the last time I talked to you, brother. It was yeah, mostly yeah, chatting. We're chatting through Facebook a lot of the time. That's badass, brother. Yeah, yeah, that's badass. But, uh, I, know, I, I, mean, I, know, I know he gets down, though. I mean, yeah. I've heard I, about him for years. I know he makes sick beats and shit. Exactly. He's been one of the... I guess the last time I saw him was at a at the beat battle, bro. He yeah. was at the beat battle lowbrow palace. There you go. We won first and second, I think. I have no idea. I don't even yeah, know. When I'm when I'm when I'm out and about, it's probably, aye, but, I'm, I'm probably can't I'm, aye, I'm but, seeing triple, bro. Like, aye, but no, no, I don't no. remember anything, bro. There you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, but no, no, uh, no, no disrespect to nothing. We just took first and second that night. Oh, it's yeah, pretty it's fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it was like a first round. It was or something badass, like that, though, bro. The whole fucking thing was fucking sick. Whoever put that, which I think it was Domes and. And I don't know who it was, right? That's the one. Are we talking about the same one? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't was involved. Black or in but it was this Grey dude, Goose, uh, Golden Adam. Goose. Golden Goose. This dude, Adam, was Adam, 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 Adam. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And that's then true, he, he true. had Shout Domes. out Adams. Shout I'm, out Adams. I'm just guessing, but I think he had Domes host it or something That like was that. badass. I mean, the whole thing, the whole idea, the whole it. shit. I mean, that was, it was fucking dope. It's good for the yeah, movement, yeah, yeah. you know? We should do. I, I was kind of, I was thinking of doing something else like that, bro. You know, for the listeners that don't know, I'm a promoter as well. Yeah, there you go. But I was I was talking to matter of fact Severe about maybe putting something together, but I don't know. It just we just never did it. It's just I'm not sure why. We should we, man. We, we can make it happen. We, we can still make it we happen. Should, no. You know what? We have to name it part two, brother. We have to. You know, well, why? I might have to know part two or somebody else's shit. Why? Well, it's because you know what? At the end of the day, you got to think about it. It was the first fucking B battle. Or oh, I don't know. Has there been any more B battles? Yeah. I mean, Before yeah, I'm that? not gonna. No, no, there has. I don't think so. But I'm saying. We, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do part two to some, somebody else's shit. It's not your shit. It's gotta I, be got you. I got you. My shit. I got you. I got you. But uh, yeah, no. So anything else from the the history, man? The history. Some funny stories um, in the studio. Some crazy stories, or just something. Even if it might not sound well, interesting to you, man, it, I, I'll bet you it's some funny shit. I mean, you know what? We've had crazy people come and go through the studio, bro. On yeah. some real shit. Like we. I mean, it's crazy since back like in who? the day, bro. I mean. Or like not, even a person, names, even a person that's doing crazy shit now. I mean, homicide. You know, homicide. Have oh, you heard yeah. of homicide? He's Javier? working with. Yeah, he's working yeah. with. Uh, he's working with. Uh, you know, Pooh Hef and. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually. They've been bringing some shows. Yeah. Yeah, they're bringing some shows. Actually, plus he makes music. Yeah, definitely. He was he was actually street social for me. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, cool, cool, cool. you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just shout out to to homicide. Shout I, out to homicide. I call him bro. Fabian, but homicide. Yeah, homicide, bro. <laughs> He's a he's a he's a he's a hustler, brother. Yeah, yeah, he's he does his thing, he, man. Th- that guy, that guy can actually, you know. Might have to get him on the podcast. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to Homicide and you know Puhef and all those people. You know, definitely, man. They they actually working with uh. I guess I'm mentioning this because it is a recording studio here, and yeah. at the end of the day, I like to talk about the talent that's in El Paso, for it, brother. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I mean, I I do recognize talent that's here, and even people that are actually moving and doing for the movement brother like yeah at the end of the day it's like what can you take from the table or can what can you add to the table you Absolutely, know what I'm saying? Yeah. and there's people that take from the table there's people that add from the table yeah, yeah, you course. know what i'm saying at the end of the day always those takers. i mean me basically i 
<clears throat> deal with what I do and as far as the music, and I can honestly say there's a lot of talent, bro. And there's people that are actually doing the the, the moves behind the talent. Cause yeah. it, it's not only the hustle. I mean, the muscle is the hustle. You know, you need both. Hand to hand, you need you need to be able to do the music, and you need to be able to pay for your music to yeah. do what you got to do. At the end of the day, yeah, you can do so much with networking, but it comes down to actually putting your, you know, your your brand name to everything, brother. Yeah, and yeah, Homicide yeah. has been one of those persons that do that. Oh, bro. no doubt, man. Yeah, yeah, he stays busy, he has, man. man. He's been one of the, the person that does his thing as much as we do. And, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see people still doing the thing just as much as we are. Hey, not you, to not to sidetrack too much, but because it just popped in my head. But then I also put you on a show on some of those little local showcases. Then I put you on that some oh, uh, you homegrown, did. the homegrowns. You know, you put us on it was homegrown. The, uh, but it was just you, it. a solo shit. Yeah, you put me on a homegrown. Bro. It was uh, when it, when it yeah, was no, Zeppelins. Low, Zeppelins, brother. You when did, Lowbrow brother, Palace, you where Lowbrow, did, where Lowbrow Palace you is did. located at. For, if you're super young listening to yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lowbrow Palace did, was called brother. Zeppelins at you some did. point. Different owner. I believe then, it, that the people that run the music, uh, Mesa Music Hall now. Oh, had, that's what it is? Had Zeppelins back then. Yeah, it was Zeppelins. Because that's my buddy that owned it. So that's that's badass, brother. But, uh, yeah, and yeah. you put us up on the Ill Bill, I think, too. Yeah, that's 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 true. That's true. You know I was going Bill? back into, because I would always, because Homegrown, if anybody knows, I mean, we haven't done it in a while, but Homegrown, the point of it was, you know, to have local showcases. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, my ultimate vision was really... To help local talent. Dude. That's part of it, but really... Also, just because it's not, there's activity going on off the stage, bro. Oh, I see what you're saying. So these people that never see each other, bump into each other, or talk to each other, all of a sudden, yeah, hey, aren't you so and so? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Networking, in other words. That's true. That's true. Long and, way to and, say networking. And, 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 and that was the point of homegrown. At, the, at so, the end of the day, bro, that's what you were probably one of the pioneers to actually bring those type of shows to bring all these yeah. crews together, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, you I mean, are. I just try to do different he shit. He was. So bro. you know, let me. I'll, the point was to have different guests, different yeah. types of hip hop. You know, I even had who the heck did I have? I forgot his name, but he's kind of like a quote unquote, for lack of a better word, cholo type uh, rapper. Who was it? Did I have Gio on there? Mr. Yeah. Gio? Yeah, I think I had Gio on there once. Even. So my point is, yeah. all of a sudden, you bump exactly. in, You would never call these guys. You're never going to call these guys. Exactly, exactly. But, but they're not, you're having some beers now. Hey, aren't you so and so? Exactly, blah, blah, bro. blah. Hey, let's, let's exchange numbers. That was the one of the main points of home And reality, I mean, and then talking you start by, collabing, by, by reality you know? and, and facts, bro, I mean, realistically, you did put together that, man. I mean, realistically, because... You got to think about it. I met a lot of people through it, just exactly, calling bro. them. Like, hey, exactly, you want to perform? Bro. Now I know, now I have a new friend now. Because you know I mean? now, is, like, now people are still kind of networking, but the, if you really think about it, we, we kind of, like, in the, I'm, I'm being for real, like, the early 2000s and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was you guys the ones that were networking the whole the whole situation. Thanks, man. It was. And then it back was, then, you didn't have, like, it wasn't as easy. It wasn't Facebook. You it had to do homegrown. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't as easy. You couldn't bro. just chat with somebody. You it couldn't just send them, easy, you know bro. what I mean? You had to, like... How can I bring these motherfuckers under the same roof so exactly. we can all so it's we can true. all talk and it's have true. some beers? You it's know? true. Collab. Es- especially then, it was more about uh, being part of a, a label. You know, now it's independent has been yeah, that's kind the, of the way to go. That's, so yeah, yeah. I guess it gives people opportunity to do their own things now. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I think what I've seen from it, like transitioning from the 2000s to now, you know, the earlier 2000s, <clears> like independent music is actually the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It really is. I mean, I mean, if somebody, if you get scooped up by a major, just you know, make sure, course. just make sure you're, you're you gotta have race. a lawyer though, and all oh, that. Yeah. Of course, of course. So you don't of get, course. so you don't get, you of know, course. of course, fucking jerked around. Exactly. But if exactly. you're independent and you know what you're, you know, nowadays there's no excuse for ignorance because we have the internet. Exactly. So you can research anything on the, on the internet. Yeah, exactly. How to brother. run your own shit, how to represent yourself. And I think, know, study you know, the numbers. I think these youngsters have picked that up and oh, yeah, like, actually ran with they it. They have right? that, you know what I'm saying? You know, they have that going for them. The, they, that's what Which they is have cool. Use it, back then, use it well. Back then you had to join yeah. something to be able to get that studio time and, and stuff yeah. like that. When now it's, it's a little bit more available you, for the youngsters. So I think they feel Google free it. to be able to do it on their own now. Yeah, which, yeah, which is it's good. Not, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not bad at all because you're no, supposed I, to own no. your own shit, anyways. Yeah, yeah, but back then we did have to. It's not like a hate thing or anything. It's no, it's not. It's but not, it's like it's we're not. just we're just talking it, about the difference. The struggle. We're talking yeah. about the struggle. Because I mean, even right I, now there's challenges. But exactly. uh, back then we like you had to really go out there and shake some hands, exactly, uh, exactly. read books and shit. Exactly. Like, you know exactly. I mean? Network a lot. It's true. It's true. Yeah, definitely. So talk about that. Uh, the Hill Bill show. 
that it I think I booked it through Severe, no? The Severe was I, th- I think that's the only one I really talked to from, from y'all's crew at the time. Uh, yeah, Severe. I mean, we were all there. We did the show. I think yeah. uh, Soundminds was also there. And Soundmind, remember Soundmind? Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out to Soundmind. Salute. Yeah, well, we had, uh, I don't know if he was part of the, it's because I fucking done so much but shit, I bro. Think it was but, like, I, but it's because we had. <laughs> it was it was it's because we had staples perform also staples, but i don't know if he yeah. was officially sound minded oh, i don't remember i have he to ask wasn't. i think i, I think, think that's was. where he got picked up yeah like, around there i mean but they already knew about him they already knew about him before i mean shout we've, out to we've the had this conversation shout out to but uh yeah. but yeah, yeah yeah i mean talk about the talk about the show in general bro how did the, you guys prepare was, for it how did well i'm gonna tell how did you feel the day of day before all that shit I mean, just knowing it's Ill Bill, you know. Ill Bill. Shout out to Ill Bill. Shout Eclipse. out to Ill Bill, brother. Like, Ill Bill was yeah. fire to me. Like, growing up, man, you already yeah, know. Yeah. After, after Nonfiction, all that shit. Of course. Solo man. shit. I mean, that's what we Necros. Through, you know what I'm there you brother. go. So, who's uh, Ill Bill? Ill Bill. Oh, Ill Bill. where do we start, just, bro? Just, you're going to have to Google it, bro. Yeah, yeah Ill, Bill, Ill Bill is Ill Bill. Definitely, this guy, this guy, he's awesome. been doing it on the underground scene and getting paid, bro. That's that's support. an example of independent right independent, there. Independent, bro. That's what, that's what you call yeah. independent. They've been doing this shit, like, pretty deep. Yeah. Macro, so uh, the whole crew was there, right, that night? We're all there. We're all there. Um, Actually, we had a... I remember we were like, fuck, it's Ill Bill. We had to prepare pretty good, but you know how shit goes anyways on stage. Sometimes <laughs> you fuck up anyway, no matter how much you try to prepare. I was so busy, I couldn't even watch the whole... Especially, I, I made sure to watch a couple songs, but I was so busy. Being that it's like four, five, six people in our yeah. crew that we have to perform and to kind of like align all them people at one show is kind of yeah. it's kind of take some work. You know how that shit go, man. Scheduling is always an issue. Was there any yeah for like rehearsal and all that for shit? For rehearsal, especially? for all that shit. But at the end of the day, you know what? You try to fucking make. Was it was there any was there any screw ups on stage that you have to kind of play you know, off I or not? I would say one thing, man. Every fucking show I've done, there's screw ups, yeah. but we don't we don't put them out there. Bro. Like the audience doesn't know. You know what unless I'm saying? Unless it's like really exactly, weird. bro. Unless you look fucking frozen up there, bro. But yeah. I mean. There's screw ups that, cause I mean, I'm a perfectionist when it comes down to shit like that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I you try, I try, done. I try to like, and people will tell you like, I, I'm on <clears> top <throat> of people like, let's get this shit right. Like we're gonna do it, let's fucking do it right. You know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, uh, hectic scheduling is always an issue. Yeah, especially and, with that many guys. Exactly, brother. And street associates sometimes can be up to like eight or nine people <laughs> if we wanted it to, bro. So imagine doing that. But you know what? At the end of the day. It's been a blessing too, cause, cause like no matter what show, we we try to arrange the people and shit. Like I'll I'll be like, oh well, who can make it to this show? And while there's some people in Denver, so of course they're not gonna be able to make it. But at the end of the day, there's always like one or two yeah, available I mean, shit. shit, and we'll be Whoever, like, well, we have songs together. You just throw it out there, and yeah. let them know the show's on this day. Who can make it? Yeah. And right, then, we're gonna have the set's gonna be designed around those people. Yeah, exactly. And for some reason we have songs together all with each other, so it works perfectly. We'll find the fucking songs that yeah. don't fit for the you know? Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. But no, definitely, man, that that Ill Bill show was fucking awesome, bro. I'm gonna tell you like that. Like any show that's like opening up for somebody that's yeah. actually been doing and especially like someone that you actually believe is a pioneer for the music and shit that you listen to that you kind of even look up to even. yeah especially especially that like you know to be able to hang out and rock the same stage with somebody that you actually admire bro that's like a hell yeah dog. That's, that's the, yeah, that was a cool that was a fun show man that is let's see here have you guys ever done any out of town gigs at all out of town gigs we just did that coast to coast I'm, i mean we did that where was in, that at in uh, la oh for real with beast yeah, man. With who? Beast. Beast Who's Master. That? He's uh, Oh, I forgot to mention Beast. Street Associates. Street Associates. Street Associates. Shout out to Beast. Shout out to Beast. Actually, he's he's doing his he thing, I almost bro. forgot you. Yeah, I almost forgot him, and he's the That's one he. actually putting me up on the videos and all that, man. He's actually he's got some videos. Talk about that and talk about the show out there. What, what? It, was, it was badass, brother. Uh, Beast, he said uh, he had signed up for that uh, Coast to Coast um and that goes to what any is that? artist. What is that? Break that down. Explain any artist that wants to look it up. Is it like a networking well, thing? Yeah, or it's actually a show networking. Or? It goes from coast to coast on on music or uh, hip hop. But it's in L.A. No, no, no. Actually, they're everywhere, brother. Oh, there's several. They're, of them. they're like in New York, then uh, in in Austin. But they're events. They're what they or do. Or is it a they, crew or a what they company? do? They set up. It's a company, brother. They set up a show. That sounds familiar. I don't know. Why. Yeah, they set up a show everywhere, bro. And then uh, you go to that show. You have to pay. Yeah. And you you compete so against kinda a lot like, of people. Oh, you know it's a competition. It kind of is at the end of the day. 
But at the end of the day, like, but it's like a you, yeah, you networking, know, networking thing. Networking. That's the name number one thing yeah. that they're trying to achieve. Oh, I that. think I know. Yeah, I've heard it's of it. dope. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end, of, we all right. We went out there and we're like, and yeah. Beast took that up. We we did. We he actually he's the one that did the the, the show. I went to uh, you know help him out with his uh, show set. That's right. pretty dope. Oh, okay, okay. And at the end of the day, we still uh we still uh we shot a video out there, brother. And that oh, was. And, uh, Hollywood, for bro. Street Associates Street or Associates, who else who went out there though? It was me. Who me. of the twenty three members? <laughs> <laughs> right. It was me. It was honestly we took Toby Robbins. You know who Toby Robbins is? Toby fucking Robbins. Shout out to Toby Robbins, the fucking director, man. The, the fucking he's rapper. Back. He's he's a he's a he's a video director, brother. He's he's. I'm got, thinking of the damn motivational speaker. <laughs> oh, I know who you're talking about. He's I dope. met the guy, the tatted up cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. That's my home. My uh, shout out to Toby, man. Yeah, yeah fucking. I, I met him through my homegirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he went out there with us, Jim. And the last time I saw him was at the Mother of Pearl blog party, bro. He was mm. out there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he makes sick ass videos, dog. Yeah, he does, brother. Shout out to Toby Robbins. Actually, Toby fucking Robbins. Toby fucking <laughs> that, Robbins. That's, that's how he is on Facebook. Right? Yeah. So Beast actually has all his videos done by Toby Robbins and shit. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So off the bat, like he knew Beast set all this up, so he knew we were gonna do the show, and um, actually told Toby, "Yo, let's roll, shoot a video out there." So we shot a video out in uh, Hollywood Boulevard, bro. That yeah, was yeah, fucking badass. Oh yeah, dog. It was, it was, it was. It was Hollywood like, Boulevard. I've been to Hollywood, but I went to Melrose, I think. Yeah, man, Hollywood is. There's a Hollywood like, Boulevard. <laughs> like Hollywood, Hollywood. The street. The main Hollywood, I guess that's what it is, right? Shattered. Oh, I, well, I went there real quick just to do some shopping. A long, it's a, this is like fucking 15 years ago. Yeah, I guess down uh, Hollywood and shit, the main street right there on Hollywood and shit. But there's uh, something oh, called there's... Melrose also. Where there's like a bunch of shops. Oh, I see what and you're there's saying. And there's like Paramount Pictures is there or some shit like that. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. But uh, anyways, the video came out sick. Yeah, it was Where dope, can the bro. people watch the video? Uh, YouTube, brother. It's Check it YouTube. out. It's called Our Audio Serenade. Uh, by Beastmaster featuring Fat Cat F A T K A T. There you, you know go. There know. you go. Hell yeah, yeah, dog. yeah, yeah. But uh, that that shit was dope, though, man. It was, it was, it was an experience, you know, to shoot a video out of town. Hell yeah, dog. That's uh, always man. fun. Fuck. Did you guys party it up over there or no? Yeah, man. Actually, right after the video was kind of crazy. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was, it was dope, bro. You For know? the listeners, the- I'm looking at Fat Cat. He. Started blushing. So that, yeah, that yeah. means there was uh, call girls there, <laughs> heroin. No, 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 scratch that, scratch that shit. I mean, it was just, you know, I mean, right there, I'm off Hollywood, man. You know what? I'm going to be real with you. Like, I'm a, I'm a Texas dude. We went to Cali. We had fun. Fucking fat cat nodded off in the restroom with a needle in his arm. Nah, hell no, man. That shit, that shit don't roll, G. Hell no, hell no. Some call girl. No, but at the end of high price. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be real though, man. Like, when you want to party, like in Hollywood and shit, I guess. Oh man, that's fucking party. LA, man. Yeah, man. yeah, LA, LA. That's where it's at, man. Yeah, man. It really is. But you know what? It was crazy though that like that whole party day, anyway, brother. Man. The whole day we since the day we got up, we fucking we went with a roll, bro. We just went with the flow, you know. Yeah. Like whatever happens tonight, it ended up escalating to like we went to a show on Santa Monica, fucking the pier, bro. Yeah. And um. That girl that sings uh fuck I forgot her name. She awesome. she comes out on that on that Bally movie, bro. Bally. Yeah, that she's singing on that Bally movie then. Oh, I forgot her name, man. Well, anyways, My, we, uh, Michelle Branch. Uh, no, no, she's the one that sings that. Banda, ba, ba, fina, ba, um, ba. I forgot her name though. Right now, I had it. Having a brain fart. Well, anyways, you know you know that one song, yeah. right? Well, we we're actually from. Uh, from Venice all the way to Santa Monica, brother. You already have you been there? No, nah, not that deep. It's badass, brother. Yeah. Like right there next to the right near the beach. Mm. So yeah, right yeah, near yeah. the beach, we walked from fucking <clears throat> Venice all the way to Santa Monica. It took us about two hours, brother. Damn, son. And but like all walking, along, man. all along though, brother, like you see everybody doing it and everybody having a fucking time and so like, soaking it all in. Yeah, brother, like it's organic, you know what I'm saying? It really is. Like everybody's doing it and you see everybody's like, all who's these guys look like they're from the lower valley. It was badass, though, brother, because once we got there to the pier, brother, it, uh, actually, there was a reggae concert, bro. No way. And it was free, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So whatever, I guess. There's uh, something going on out there. It was badass, brother. It was badass. But I guess that whole night from there, we went to go shoot or something like that. But How did you guys get out there? Was it road trip styles or what? It was road trip style. We prepared yeah. for it. We're like, you know what? 
be you prepared for it. <laughs> yeah, man. How many cars? There's like I, 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 36 I, I, I got a minivan back here. Man. Oh, for real? That we, Sears that there, that yeah, gold one? We call it the, the, the tour bus. Y'all you know fit in that? I mean, there was about... It was about how many who went. It was me, Beach, uh, Carlos. People sitting on each other's laps. And shit. <laughs> the 23 or the Took a bunch of Slim Jims and trail mix. <laughs> nah, it was about four or five of us, bro. Nothing happened on the road? Anything crazy? Well, I know. We're over there. We got stopped and shit. I was, <laughs> I was barely telling. I was like, I was asleep, brother. And I woke up and I was telling my friend he was flying in the minivan. He was. He was. Hey, 100 and, miles. Yeah, we were in Arizona. I was like... Like, I just told him, slow down, slow down. Uh, got this. Rodrigo, el pinche, el, el ridiculous. There you go. <laughs> pinche, I'm telling him, slow down, slow down, slow down. Y el wey que, he didn't know me so caso. A los pinche diez minutos, bro. I'm the real way. Yeah, I mean, for real, bro. So, gotta, so we fucking took pictures of it. He got a ticket? Yeah, uh, he got a ticket. How fast was he going? Uh, I believe it was going like 100 in the mini van. Wow. <laughs> Man. How's he gonna do the minivan like that? Damn. The minivan was stressed. The minivan, yeah. The minivan. minivan was all pissed. Yeah, the minivan was pissed. <laughs> the minivan. Yeah, that's just funny though, bro. All right, man. Shit. Talk about the studio, man. How did you start it? Why did you start it? Uh, who helped you start it? You know what's what's the current state of the of the business? Of the, the business. What all else right. are you working on? What are you gonna add to it? Talk about the different services. All right, brother. You know, uh, basically, like uh, the studio El Stu, El Stu was created, you know, for, uh, well, basically, the be able to, how, how you said, you know, how you do it for the promotion side, trying to put the shows together. I try to put a studio together where artists can feel comfortable to come in and actually record without having to be a part of a label. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, first and foremost, I mean, I respect these youngsters nowadays, whatever they're trying to do, especially now music is going independent. Yeah. What I try to do is I try to actually focus on whatever they're trying to do you know what i'm saying yeah i mean not knocking nobody's hustle i mean basically i try to embrace the the you know the the artist creativity you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i try not to put a name to it you know what i'm saying whatever they want to do is what they want to do so that's basically where el stu came about is like like how can i help you know i mean especially knowing that we've been putting in this work for a minute or, yeah you know at the end of the day i see myself as a businessman <clears throat> not only as an artist and that's where El Stu came about to try to help out these youngsters, brother. Are you engineering back here? Or I definitely Sal, am, or, Yeah, I definitely am, brother. Who I'm, taught you, Sal, or what? Sal taught me how to engineer. Yeah. And yeah. I, yeah, and uh, a little bit of, or mostly Sal, and, and the game just growing yeah, up little and listening. And, you know, but at the end of the day, I, I've taught myself a lot of, you know, yeah. a lot of the engineering process as far as, like, the as far as, like, Two years ago, you know oh, what I'm saying? Really, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been putting in that work, man. I've been, I've been waking up, sleeping this music, brother, nonstop. First thing I do when I wake up is try to. You got and, some, uh... and there's never enough time, bro. There's oh yeah, man. Time, there's never enough time. Yeah, trust me, man. I'll tell you like before that. Before you know it, it's already. Far I'm past. also in-house carpenter and also in-house, uh, you know, you name it, brother. Like, yeah. You know, I try to, I try to. That's what I'm saying. You pretty much built this yourself, no? Exactly, brother. But no, realistically, I like to. Thank the, you know, the whole street associates because they were here since the beginning, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah. If it wasn't for them, I mean, realistically, where the fuck would I be at, you know what I'm saying? Hell like, yeah. I, I, I'm I I'm humble and I keep my feet on the ground and that's why I think I'm not saying I'm the most successful, but I'm still here. I'm still around, you know? So you're trying to, you're trying to get the music store side of it popping too, right? Yeah, man. For I mean, are you looking for somebody to bring in some con consignment type products or? Yeah, exactly. Like it, all talk, talk about that, man. Just all, all the listeners that might be interested in bringing some shit. Of course, man. You know what? This store right here next door is actually <clears throat> ready for anybody that wants to come in and come leave their, uh, their merchandise, their music, their promo. I mean, we're here to support the movement, nonetheless. Like yeah. Southwest movement, so I believe we're next, brother. If people want to sell tickets here, tickets, if people want to sell shirts, CDs, shirts, hoodies, whatever the hell you want to sell, bring it, brother. Leave bring some it. flyers. Leave some flyers. Let's All promote your shit. shows, tickets, whatever you want right. to do. I'm we'll with just, it. I just I want mean, it to be clear to the listeners, man. Yeah, definitely. I mean, everybody is welcome here. Everybody. And when and I if say, if you want to record, there's that too. Of course, of course. Re for reasonable prices. There you go. There you go. That's the most important thing but uh everybody's more than welcome to come in whether we're doing business on the recording side or not i mean you know i'm, I'm let's promote your, your your music let's promote your business you know what's the movement. best way for them to get in contact with you man i guess me i'm old-fashioned my phone number is 915-540-4011 yeah Boom. 
That's 915-540-4011. Or you can reach me at elstu915 at gmail.com. That's so, at stu915 at gmail.com. If you got some questions, com. we can do that. But yeah. you can also maybe come in person. Would that be okay? Man, that's always... I mean, I'm You're here fashion. a lot. That's probably the best way to get in hold of me. You know, He's here a lot. Yeah. Hammering away, adding on, it, adding on to the the studio. Yeah, there you go, brother. Because you were telling me that the uh, construction is a, a family trade. Yeah, man. You know so, what I'm saying? That's that, like people ask me who built this realistically. My dad did. My dad taught me how to like work all some this. drywall and my shit. Own, my own, my Two by fours. You know, but some see, frames. No, no. See, I mean, you know, it's a blessing to know that the studio, little by little, is falling in place, and to know that you have good people around your corner, and more people are actually coming. In such as Sweet Jesus Radio, because yep, I yep. mean we're one hundred percent. Yeah, I wouldn't even have a place right now to do it. The show, let's, at. let's fucking get it, man. <laughs> it was to me, uh, to me it's dope my buddy to have you, bro. Rafael over here, yes. Fat Cat. You know, invited me out to do the show here because honestly, I was gonna take a big break. And you're more than welcome to but use boom, it whenever, we are. so we can make it happen, brother. Yeah, yeah, we'll be doing we'll, we some stop, more shows coming. Stop, no stop. So all you artists that try to fuck with Sweet Jesus Radio, all you uh, <laughs> MMA fighters, all you people, you know, whatever you are. The, Porn star, whatever the fuck you do, man. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'll let my homeboy sweet Jesus Why you, you got to bring up my ex girlfriend, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it really is what it is, man. You know, I, I support the movement. I see what you're trying to do, man, and you've been doing this, so it's fucking <clears throat> this beautiful. Thank you, thing, bro. bro. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, are you still rhyming or not? I'm still rhyming, Gene. You got rhyming. a you got an acapella for us? I mean, I got, I got, verse. you know what? I got, I got, I got one. It doesn't one. have to be off the top. Do I got, some written shit. I got with some written shit. And I must be the first shit I wrote. <clears throat> oh, shit. He's going back. In the 915 or 9 to 5 was hard to get. So I sold drugs. I was a part of it. The paper route wasn't real nice. Born rich would have been nice, but it would have been lies. Yo, I was born to make it. So I take it. Every better step is closer to cake it. This game is screaming my name. I got the sugar like cane. My style is so sane. Cause it makes sense. And I flip it for dough. Ready to exit. You ready to go. Ready to bounce. Cause you just bought an ounce. Crack style motherfucker. Just look at your house. Look at your spouse. You can say that I own. Could use a crackhead to the full. Blown, not yet fully grown, showing lots of heart, brains you get. Shame you live, you aim, don't split. Dangerous when you mix a game with I'm us, it's aim and bust. There's a lot of shame and trust. Keep enemies close, but your friends closer. That's why me, I carry my toaster just in case posers try to lay me flat on my back. Hell no, sir, it's a big mistake. Even when it's for the snake of a million snakes, biting just to get your cake. If I bought it's my call, I made it that far. Now you motherfuckers want to take it away. I'm sorry to say, I have you gone in less than a day. It's pleasant, uh, I may. I live this ghetto, thug metal. Music was trained live. I have you stuck at the hospital. Uh, I wrote that shit at 15, G. <laughs> 15. That's the, he went, he went, that's the first rhyme. Yeah. Yeah. So, first, damn. So first Hell rhyme. yeah, dog. That, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that shit was dope, Street man. Street Associates, baby. Uh, Sweet Jesus Radio, El Stu. Uh, much, much love to the whole Southwest movement, man. Let's Hell get yeah, this dog. fucking movement going, man. Hell Shout yeah, out to dog. every fucking buddy. Is there, I'm going to go into some maybe a little promotion here for some sh upcoming shows, man. Is there anything else you want to add before we, I mean, we're getting close to the end here? To me, bro, whatever you with, I'm with it 100%. Any, any shout outs? How about some shout outs? Shout outs to the whole street associates. Shout outs to uh, the Steyo. You know, everybody <clears throat> right there. Cricket. You already know Big Lou, Mario. Uh, shout outs to all my homies that, uh, that have passed away. You know, uh, Shorty, R.I.P. Shorty. Uh, shout outs to my homie Raz, you know. I'll see you one day again. Shout out to all the people that are still struggling, man. Shout out to all the people living in the streets trying to get that money, man. Uh, yeah, let's man. get it, bro. Shit, you know what? I'm not even going to do the the upcoming shows because today is the 29th. I'm going to have this posted hopefully by late tomorrow. But I guess it, just in case I do get it posted in time, there is a show tomorrow at... Tricky Falls or Upstairs, I believe, which is Bowie Feathers, the Upstairs of Tricky Falls. That is Grayskull. I believe they're bringing some uh, people down with them. And they got my buddies Faceless from Las Cruces are going to be opening up. And I, I, There's some other acts involved, but Fuck I believe yeah. that is tomorrow. Uh, again, the 30th. So if I have it posted in time, you might hear it. If not, my bad, because sometimes it takes me two days to post these shits. How much are the tickets, brother? I have no fucking clue. It's not my show. I'm promoting for uh, just helping out my brothers uh, Too Zany. This is a uh, company and crew and uh, brothers of ours from Albuquerque. They're the ones that do all the shows at Sunshine Theater out in Albuquerque. Yeah, and yeah, as yeah. well, as far as here, they've done multiple shows. They're the ones that bring 
you know, Atmosphere, Schoolboy Q. School Q, all the Absol, all there these big go. ones. So, yeah. again, if this makes it out, hopefully if I can post it tomorrow. Uh, Grayskull, other than that, I got a couple more go shout for outs. It. Yeah, man, go for it, dog. Sorry, man. No, it's all good. Shout out to Young Gusto. Shout out to my brother Sal, my brother Mario. Shout out to my parents for being there. Shout out to my homie Marcus right here. Shout out to my homie Alfred over here, you know, taking care of my studio always and shit. Um, shout outs to the homeboy Young Gus. I'm not sure if I, I fucking said his name like two or three times, but yeah, shout outs to homeboy Four. Young Dabs. Gus. Oh man, you know <laughs> um, shout out to Dubs and uh, and Dubs. And, yeah, Dubs out there in Denver, and shout out to everybody that's tuning in, listening to yeah, Sweet dog. Jesus Radio. What? But yeah, well, so we'll just leave it at that, man. I mean, Grace is also gonna be in Las Cruces, I believe, the next day, Halloween day, uh, doing a show out there. Uh, but just you know, search your Facebook. Um, if I don't know how the listeners are listening, but just to remind everybody, it is it can be found on iTunes, Stitcher.com, and SoundCloud.com. So you might be listening on SoundCloud, but you might be saying to yourself, you know what, I have an iPhone. I'm just gonna fuck. I I, I didn't know Sweet Jesus was on iTunes. We're on iTunes. So if that's easier for you, do that. Um, you know, any potential sponsors out there that want to reach out to me uh, and help me you know, fund this show, I will definitely promote your business. So if you want to sponsor the show, hit me up. Again, Sweet Jesus Radio, just uh, Google it. I prefer to use Bing. There you go. Nah, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I can't find shit. But, uh, <laughs> but Sweet Jesus Radio, if you want to be a sponsor, local businesses especially, I'm always uh, promoting for local businesses anyways. Big shout out to the whole, the whole crew, just uh, my peoples. As usual, if you want to make a donation to Sweet Jesus Radio, there's a donation tab on the Facebook page. And that's about it, man. Uh, anything else before we Southwest Movement? We next, baby. You already know all Let's of see. us together. Let's get some a crazy laugh from Marcus here or something. something. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm just saying, fuck all y'all bitch ass things on that fake shit. We coming up, man. There you go. Peace. Peace. Sweet Jesus Radio. <laughs>